All right, what's up? Mouth pagers. Hang on. Okay, well, it looks like we got the testing. Okay, so we are not working on Facebook today. I don't know what Zuckerberg does over there. Anti Jew, apparently, because he is Jewish. So come on, Zuckerberg, get your act together. I, I, I have no idea why I struggle getting on Facebook day in and day out. It's so frustrating. So, yeah, I'm calling you out, Zuckerberg. Say something. Do something about it. Fix this problem. And everybody's so scared. Why? You own a website. Fix the problem. Every night, I struggle to get on to Facebook. Why? Because I'm a Jew? Wait, you're a Jew too, Zuckerberg. Come on. All right. I know I'm going off on a tangent, but it's frustrating. Because I see people go live on Facebook all day long. As long as they don't talk about God, oh, we're okay. We talk about God, and oh, man, it's like struggle. It's like pulling teeth every night. I know I'm going to hear about it tonight, especially when I post this on Facebook. Oh, all the people are going to be like, oh, you, you're you offensing. Uh, well, you know what? If, if nobody's willing to stand up, then what's the point? What's the point? All right, I'm done ranting. But if no one's willing to stand up for yourselves, then who's willing to? Because if you're not, then what's the point? I won't be brainwashed. I won't be bullied ever. Ooh, I kind of like that. That looks a little French. See, we, see. I speak Hebrew, not French nor Spanish. Ken means yes in Hebrew. What's up, mouth pagers? I'm already just in one of those moods. I, I just don't care. I'm done allowing to be like. St strapped because oh well it's just a glitch is it is it because i just saw like nine other live feeds that had nothing to do with god and had no problem getting on facebook none i'm on a rant maybe that's what i should be talking about tonight what's up mouth pagers welcome to the show i am so sorry that i'm going nuts i just been i spent the last 10 minutes trying to get on social media and I can't huh imagine that hmm, hmm. imagine that I, I I just couldn't so I had to go to the website I'm on the website though what's up everybody I, I, I'm frustrated because it shouldn't be this difficult we're supposed to evolve I mean two monkeys could have done better job than this come on Oh, but monkeys are us, right? Well, so two of us could have done this. There's your evolution there. Uh, what, what, what's that dude's name? <laughs> There's your evolution theory. Two monkeys could have done this. So there you go. I just destroyed that entire years of evolution. Gone, done. Now we all know that that isn't true. <laughs> that was easy. Okay, what else can I dissect for y'all? Welcome to Mouth Page. Yes, we're a spiritual community. Sound sound like I'm just going crazy. I am going nuts because how hard is it? You click a button, you click a button, and you go. Every other social media platform works just fine. Why not this one? I'm a little irritated, and I'm not going to sit here and sugarcoat it. Because if I'm going to sugarcoat it, then I'm no better or no different than all the stuff that we talk about. Thou shall not lie. So I'm not going to lie. I'm going to tell you right now that I'm upset. So why lie about it? This is how we help each other. This is how we get better. And everybody over here is like, come on, calm down. So welcome, Mouth Pagers. Happy Wednesday. Yeah, I'm Rabbi E. So hope everyone's had a great day and a great week. I'm Rabbi Yak. I think I already said that. See, I'm already frustrated and flustered. Uh, I live, uh, we're outside <laughs> San Francisco and Santa Rosa. We're going to cut to the chase. We've been going live now for 78 weeks. We're over 97,000 diehard mouth pagers liking us and follow us. Let's do a little 
Let all that breathes, praise God, hallelujah, because I need to breathe right now. This is a perfect one for me. Hallelujah. Let all that breathes, praise God, hallelujah. 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 Okay, now that I feel like I'm centered and I'm focused, I was going to wait to talk about this topic till we get to 100,000 followers. We're at 97,000. So I figured I'm in one of my moods tonight because of the internet and the technical difficulties that I'm having. So we're going to talk about something that I was wanting to wait for 3,000 more followers. Brainwashed. Brainwashed. See, just tonight happens to be the night that it's not working. But I'm going to talk about it anyway. And I'll probably talk about it again tomorrow just because that's how irritated I am that I'm not going live. So brainwash right here. I want to talk about it. So what does this mean? What does this mean? Oh my gosh. I'm going to go nuts tonight because this is this is one of the things that I I can't preach enough about. We read books about this. We talk about this. We celebrate holidays about this type of behavior. Hanukkah, Passover, Esther. If we talk about Yom HaShoah, the Holocaust, right? Stalin, Hitler, Hirohito, Mussolini. You can talk about it. Yeah the pharaohs but here we go brainwashed let's talk about let's talk about history let's talk about it what does that mean governments oh way back when the government didn't like when people were praying to god so they came up with their own type of religion and they made and forced people to do it forced 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 people to do it so brainwashing, forcing someone to do something, convincing something that what you feel is your choice isn't your choice because if you do it, you will be punished. My great grandma told me that exact same thing. She saw it firsthand. I was a kid when she told me. She saw that the government would physically beat people to death if they had the Bible. You were not allowed to believe in God. If you had anything like that, they would beat you to death. Now that's brainwashing. Hitler had a book burning thing where they just burn books, history books, Bibles, biblical books, anything that had to do with what? Anything that could protect them. So what does that mean being brainwashed? Brainwashed. The people who brainwash you, the brainwashers, are scared. They're scared of you. They're more scared of you than you are of them, so they implement all these rules and these laws, and they have all this force behind them. So they're making you hate one another. They make you hate one another Let's say this again. They make you hate one another so you trust what they have to say. They trust what they have to say. Hitler convinced millions of people to hate the Jews. And if you didn't, you would be punished. And those millions of people followed what the government had to say. Even if some of them didn't believe it or didn't want to, they did it anyway because they were scared. Fear, scared, hate. Huh, huh, brainwashed. I I'll tell you a very easy way. I heard somebody say that, oh, believing in God is like being brainwashed. I says, okay, how so? 
well you have to pray okay sure I says what do you do every morning that you get up I said do you have a ritual every morning no oh you don't so what do you do when you get up well I brush my teeth do you do that every day every day huh so you brush your teeth every day so that's not a ritual uh that's what she said uh okay and do you still have cavities yep so you still have cavities but you brush your teeth every day yep do you really have cavities or are you just taking the dentist's word for it I, I I don't know I said so you're really gonna tell me that you're that I'm being brainwashed because I believe in God but you do the same ritual every day you go to the dentist but yet you have a, a cavity and yet you have a root canal so what which is it which ritual do you believe she didn't even know what to do I said so there you go so don't tell that I'm brainwashed just because I believe in God that something a, a being that believes in hope and peace and happiness and and wants to Tell people not to steal, not to lie, not to cheat on each other. But yet, you got to pay hundreds and thousands of dollars to get your teeth fixed. Are they going to do it for free? If they're going to do it for free, then no big deal. But they're not going to do it for free. So you go under, they open up your mouth, and you got to pay for it. So I'm the one that's brainwashing. You're the one that's short a $1,000. Huh. Hmm. Let's think about that for a second. Really. I'm brainwashed because I believe in God and you're the one who has to pay a thousand dollars to get your cavity be it you brush your teeth every day twice a day is what she told me. so what's the ritual she didn't know what to do I was like so don't attack my God if you have no idea what you're talking about because you don't because that is what a ritual is you say that mine brainwashed well I say she's brainwashed too I brush my teeth twice a day also so, but if the dentist tells me to do something, you know what? I am going to make the decision, not based off of my dentist, based off of me. If I'm in pain, he's going to fix my teeth. If I'm not, I'm leaving. Dentist isn't going to bully me. They're not going to tell me what to do or what not to do. No doctor, no nobody is going to do that to me. Nobody. If I'm feeling crappy, and I can't fix it myself and I ask God for help I go to the doctor or the dentist and they do it then great but I'm not gonna just take their word for it I don't that's not me that's not what I do I, I don't believe that I believe when I'm in pain that I do that so it says oh you got to fix this okay show me why it's broke if my teeth are hurting so bad then you darn right I gotta go to the dentist but if, if it's not fi if it's not fixed, why or if not broken, why do I need to get fixed? Oh, it's maintenance. Okay, but wait a minute. But earlier you said I was brainwashed because I believe in God. Well, which is it? Huh? So who's brainwashed who? Uh, see how I can easily mix that up? I did that on purpose because that is what people do to one another. Don't sit here and tell me that I am brainwashed because I believe in God. Because God gives me hope. Hope that there's more to life. Hope that I can smile. Hope that people will be nice to one another. Is my dentist going to say that to me? If he says, hey, peace be with you, then great. Oh, no, he won't say that because it will offend somebody now. They won't even say the word God. Well, wait, if you're not even going to say God, who's brainwashed now? Huh, I'm going off on a tangent tonight because of this reason right here. What really is brainwashed? What really is it? I am free. I'm not brainwashed. I bow to nobody. Nobody but God. I don't bow to nobody but God. I watch a TV. If I watch it, it's my choice. Not because everybody else is oh you've got to watch this no I don't got to do nothing you tell me to do unless I choose to do that now I'm no I'm going to hear about the words that I said I'm not talking about committing crimes I'm not talking about disobeying your parents but I'm saying just because everybody else follows the norm well go ahead I am not going to follow the norm just because everybody says, oh, you've got to watch Game of Thrones. No, I'm not going to watch that show. That's not my cup of tea. 
But if you want to watch it, go ahead. But don't force me to. Because if you force me to, that's brainwashing me. I am not going to do it. That's the difference. Hitler, Stalin, beat these people, killed these people, and had everybody scared. Oh my gosh, I got to hide the Bible. I got to hide it. I got to throw it away. I got to get rid of it. I can't talk about God. I can't talk about this. Oh, I can't believe in this. I can't do this. They had a structure. They had a sheet of paper. They told you. My great-grandma said that they had a list of things that you can and cannot do. You cannot have a gun. You cannot have a knife. You cannot have a Bible. You cannot do this. You cannot do that. At what point is that not being brainwashed? What other word would you say it? Oh, rules? Okay, we're going to call it rules. Brainwashed. We're going to call it laws. Brainwashed. What more can we say? You're going to tell me to do something that doesn't feel right? It's not right. They did it thousands of years ago. Thousands of years ago. I heard somebody say the other day that God needs to evolve. God needs to evolve, and yet we're not evolving at all. We're, if you look at all the things in the Bible, we're doing the same thing. Sodom and Gomorrah all over again. What are we doing different? Oh, we got cell phones. Who cares? What has it done that's made our lives more peaceful? I'm waiting for an answer. Hmm. What has it done to make our life more peaceful? What has social media done has made our life more peaceful? peaceful. But before you sit there and, and get ready to attack me, ask yourself this. What's the rate of increase of suicide since social media has came aboard? Has it increased? You bet it has. So don't attack me because I'm right. More bullying has occurred since this is platform. So are we really evolving people? Come on. Are we evolving? Other spiritual leaders are going to lay up. That's the term in golf. You lay up. I'm not laying up. I'm going to say it directly. You love it. You love it. You hate it. You hate it. But that's what we do. That's what separates us. We don't sugarcoat it. We don't gingerbread it. We don't rainbow and unicorn it. And yes, rainbow is significant to me. Noah's Ark. That's my rainbow. That's all. I see those colors. That's all I see. Rainbow. Nothing else. Rainbow. Noah's Ark. God's symbol. No false rainbows. I, there's no false rainbows here. There's no false unicorns here. There's no false gingerbreads here. We don't sugarcoat it. Because we want you to be free. We want you to make your choices. If you don't want to believe in God, then don't. But don't do something just because other people say so. Oh, God doesn't exist because we're monkeys. Well, I've already, I've already destroyed that theory 21 minutes ago. And I did it in less than five seconds. And scientists... It took years to try to battle God, and I destroyed all of their theories in 21 minutes, or actually less than 20 minutes. There you go. So we are, I already know that that's not true. We didn't evolve from monkey. How about I evolve from a doggy, a cat? Let's spread that rumor. I'm a cat. I used to be a kitty. Meow. There you go. Yeah, I'm going to say it because it didn't happen. God happened. And when you're free, you see clear. You see things. When you stop just wandering around the earth looking for hope where hope isn't there, that's being brainwashed. Brainwash is very dangerous because we don't even realize what we're doing. Another word, brainwash is a powerful world, word. We can just say controlling. I've seen people that I loved in a brainwash relationship and 
They've ruined their whole lives and their kids' life because they could not fight it. And it's hard because like I said, it causes fear. It causes you to be scared. And those people in Germany during Hitler's reign were scared. They were scared. It's easy for us in 2018 to nitpick. It's easy for us to sit back and point fingers and go, oh, how do they not know? They knew. They knew. Just like we know. Just like we see it. But we're afraid. We're afraid to attack. We're afraid to stand up. Just like they were. They seen it. They knew it. But they were afraid. Because back then, if you stood up to the government, they would destroy you. They were scared. Scared. We watch movies of all these heroes. But those heroes, back in those days, probably couldn't sleep. Like Anne Frank, hiding their family up in the attic. Those people got caught, by the way. Were probably scared to death every night going, oh my God. It's just a matter of time. In their heart, they're being brainwashed and they know, or in their gut, they know that it was the right thing to do. But they knew they'd be punished. They knew they would get hurt. But they did it anyway because they knew that was the right thing to do. But it was against the law. If you house the Jews against the law, it's a crime. Huh. Think about that. I saw that today, the other day. That they brought up that whole thing with Hitler about breaking the law and how they implemented the things. And I'm going to use the same way. It's true. If you're, if you're harboring those people, it was against the law. And they make you be punished, and that's how they brainwash you. You see it, you believe it, you hear it. Hey, all I can do is protect myself and my family. Whether people want to destroy me, whether people want to be mad at me, it doesn't matter. Because whatever you do to me, that's fine. I work for God regardless. I'm going to heaven regardless. You're coming, you're coming, you're not, you're not. I'll be there. I know I'll be there. So that's important to me. But I want to help others because I feel like it's important to me to help. You want to have fun to have fun. Don't allow people to bully you and brainwash you. Amen. Healing prayers for Alice, for Bill, for Tony, for Sharla, for Vicki, for Lolly, for Scott, for Mary, for Virginia, for Jim, for Misty, for Jim, for Rudy, for Linda, for Arthur, for Elsie, for Tony, for Yusef, for Yael, for Nero, for Andrea, Antonio, Al Alfonso, Arturo, Alberto, Alberta, Margarita, Margie, Magro, Jesus, Juan, Juanito, Marlo, Marco, Mohammed, Herant, Samer, Rula, Rene, Rini, Louis, Luis, and Ken. And Hini Matovu Manayam Sheva Kim Gamiaka. How good and pleasant is it for brothers and sisters to dwell together in your name? Oh, I almost forgot birthday wishes. Happy birthday. To Tommy, to Tamra, to Frank, and to Jordan. Yamalit Sameak. I love you all so much. Please check us out every Monday through Thursday, live at 7 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And every Friday for Shabbat service, 6 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I love you all so much. God bless. Lila Tov. Help others be nice. Amen.